everyone it is danny and welcome to this update video i really hope that you have been enjoying your sunday thus far and we're going to be looking at the usual of course across the atlantic uh with focus being on the caribbean and what is happening here the rainfall forecast the winds we'll also be looking at the dry air map to see that coverage which is quite massive by the way and also what is happening on a global scale so there is one active tropical cyclone globally which is tropical cyclone Bilal. it is the equivalent of a hurricane and uh is going to be moving very close to the island of la reunion in the indian ocean so we're going to briefly take a look at that as well uh for the sake of staying informed on what is happening elsewhere across the world now this is a map depicting the position or the center rather of the cyclone tropical cyclone Bilal. Uh, we can see that it is located to the northwest of la reunion that is la reunion and that is mauritius there that other island and to the west of those islands is madagascar so this has been inducing some rainfall in portions of madagascar but uh the center of it it is not forecast to make landfall in La Reunion, but rather to pass just offshore of the island to the south. Also, uh, this map here should be updated because this was from 12Z, which was 6 a.m. Eastern time this morning. So it's actually closer to the islands than it is uh, currently showing here. Now, going on to the latest cone forecast, there we have the time as well as the expected intensity at that time so today's the 14th there was in the 14th and this was at 12 z which is 6 a.m eastern time now local time in la reunion that was at 3 p.m because right now it is as of when i'm recording it is almost 10 30 there so it is forecast to pass by the islands tomorrow into Tuesday. Right now, it is the equivalent of a Category 2 hurricane with winds of 100 miles per hour. So it's not expected to make landfall. So some of the strongest winds may remain offshore of the islands. But that heavy rainfall, uh, the strong winds, of course, some of those gusts up to or just below 100 miles per hour, those rough seas, that storm surge as well, likely going to be kicking up. But as we head to later this week, it is forecast to be away from those islands and no longer be a threat now this is what it is looking like on the infrared satellite and notice the clockwise fashion of it so unlike low pressure systems in the northern hemisphere in the southern hemisphere they rotate in a clockwise fashion not counter or anti clockwise but this is what it is looking like and it's going to be sliding by over the next two days or so now that is it as it relates to active tropical cyclones going back to the atlantic basin there we can see that front which has been uh, inducing some rainfall across portions of florida but it is not a very strong one and it is a stationary front which means it is not moving it has basically stalled within the area and with that is also going to be weakening as for the caribbean we're not seeing where much is happening just that little uh spark of convection right there uh to the west southwest it seems off jamaica and out there are other low pressure systems making their way through and a couple of thunderstorms developing across portions of northern south america the guyanas and the southerly portion of venezuela as we take a closer look at the region here we can see those clouds moving in some of which may induce a bit of rainfall here and there and uh, that's going to be the continuous story for especially the windward islands which have been experiencing that intermittent shower activity there's another patch of clouds moving through now as it pertains to rainfall activity this is the euro model forecast and here we can see that for some areas it's quite colorful and the more vibrant of these shadings that is indicated more rainfall activity but for the most part across the region rainfall totals are likely to be uh, less than an inch so a couple of millimeters here and there but as it relates to any substantial rainfall especially on a wide scale that is not expected and we'll be going on to that dry air map in a moment we can see that it is really the vicinity of trinidad and tobago even up towards florida and the northwest bahamas and even some spots in northern south america french Guiana, colombia uh, so on a wide scale across the rest of the region it's going to be dry for the most part but it's also quite windy for some of us and the wind is a big help especially if we have been suffering from the heat if it is windy uh, that's kind of helping to alleviate the impacts of the intense heat and so here we can see 
to those purple shades and some blues as well so those winds uh, sustained at around 20 knots or so and some gusts that are even higher than that up to 25 knots offshore of Colombia and in the vicinity of Aruba and Bonaire right there so for many of the eastern islands of the Caribbean even up towards the eastern Gulf of Mexico and near the Bahamas the northern Bahamas it is uh, quite windy but things are a bit more tranquil elsewhere now as we go on to this dry air map here we can see it and these shades of yellows oranges and reds they indicate all of that dry air so a lot of dry air stretches across much of the atlantic and as a result uh, there's not a whole lot of moisture to induce any significant rainfall right now on a wide scale across the caribbean basin so that's been the case uh, that dry air coming in uh, as those frontal systems make their way out of the u.s and also some of it is induced by the saharan air layer as well especially closer to africa but uh, as it relates to that next potential cool down for the caribbean i'll be keeping you guys posted on what is expected as we head throughout this week but that's it for right now and i really hope that you found this video to be quite informative however if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments i'll respond when i can and remember to always be with the wise